very cozy vibes. Where can I go? <laughs> Here you go, honey. Is that the first time I made it? Yes, I'm in the with the results you can just smile like this now not that i ever i'm not dramatic like you hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video tonight's video is going to be a weekly vlog and i'm starting it on a sunday which always makes me feel really productive when i start a vlog and have some plans on a sunday not plans because i always have plans but i don't always pick the vlog up from a sunday but i am today and i did last week tonight i'm going to a baby shower it's like 10 to 5 and one of the girls at work basically went on maternity leave this week so we're having a baby shower we're going to go for some food in newcastle um, and just kind of have some food and celebrate the baby and um, before the baby actually arrives um so we're doing that i've been been out this morning went for a walk with my mum and dad we just went into durham um and jake was golfing so he didn't actually come so it was just me and my mum and dad it was really nice went for some breakfast and things and the sun today is literally insane like the weather is amazing i've got all the windows open i can hear the birds it's just the nicest ever i feel like i'm on holiday um i've just sat in the garden for a few hours this afternoon just like having like some lunch and just really chilled it's been so so nice i hope this is the start of the good weather um but I'm just actually about to get like my clothes on for tonight and I thought I'd just show you because I actually ordered some bits from Zara this week and not gonna lie I actually had a huge 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 drama there's a little fly let me get that out um, I had a huge drama with the parcel because basically I lost my phone in Ibiza if you remember if you've been watching the vlogs you'll know I think it got stolen and when I logged on to Zara I hadn't realized that my old address was still the address linked to the Zara account on my phone because of the old backup that still was on the phone if that makes sense so basically Jake had to go to our old house yesterday and like knock on the door and ask for the card so I could go to Royal Mail and get the I say we, so he could go to Royal Mail and get my order because obviously I was like panicking. It was like £200 worth of clothes. I was thinking, oh my goodness, if that had like gone missing, it would have been really horrific. But anyway, the parcel's here. I'm going to try the clothes on. I'll show you all the bits I got um, and I'm actually going to wear two things from the order tonight because I've actually... Pre, I have actually tried them on just before I got in the shower just to see what everything was like. So I'll show you the bits. Um, I kind of already know what I'm keeping because um, I did try them on before. But I'll show you my outfit for tonight as well. And I'll show you what I got from Zara. So let's quickly try those on. And of course, I really hope you enjoy this weekly vlog. And let's get on with it. So this is like an asymmetric skirt, which I actually really love. I was thinking about wearing this tonight, but I'm actually, my legs aren't that brown and I haven't tanned, so I think I'm going to save this for Italy for the wedding week. How cute is that? It was $25.99 and I absolutely love that. I think that's just so gorgeous. These are like nude cargo trousers and I've actually got them in black, but I don't know, I don't love them in the nude. They're like a creamy nude don't love them feel like they look a bit short slash a bit tight even though they're the same size as my black ones i think the material is a little bit different so these are actually going back because i do not love these but i like the vibe of them like the idea of like the pockets and like the cargo style but they just don't suit me and just don't love them right this is like a little two-piece and i actually don't hate it i didn't try it on before this in the um before i tried everything on i didn't actually try these together i just i didn't even try the top one and i actually think it looks quite nice together but i really like the trousers i'm gonna keep the trousers for like just summer vibes and also with like a little bikini top just like mooching round on holiday is just really nice and then like really long and stuff but i actually don't hate these together it's got like a little tie there on the top i don't know it's i actually do like this Maybe I'll keep the top, but I don't think so. I think I'll probably end up just keeping the trousers. Looks like nice there though. And there the trousers that just have a little pocket and stuff. They're so nice. Very cozy vibes. 
So for the sake of the camera, I've just popped some shorts on with this, but I was thinking just with like over the top of a bikini, it's like a white, kind of off the shoulder, I think it's meant to be, shirt, but it's got like a huge cape. It's so nice, but I think you can't really tell because I've got the shorts on, but I did love it just before when I tried it on with like um, my knickers. I loved it as just like a cover up for a bikini, just like round the pool with some little short, um, little sandals. But it's so nice. Doesn't look the same with the shorts, but yeah, I love that and I'm definitely keeping it. It's like a cape. Very bridal, if I may say so. Then I've got this outfit, which is what I'm wearing tonight. So I've got these trousers. Let me show you them closer. I mean, let me show you the bottom of them. So I've got these trousers, which have got like a button on the side. And I just, I feel like the fit is so nice. They kind of fit like a harem pant. And then the back, I need to take the tag off. And then just this little body as well, which is like not a full shoulder, but yeah, outfit of the night. And I'm gonna pop a heel on as well. But I feel like I love that little body. I'm not gonna lie, the body's a little bit tight and it is a medium. Yeah, the body feels a little bit tight, but I actually love that outfit. And it's just like, dinner and like chill vibe so I can wear this but yeah the vibe by the way tonight was neutrals so I think I've understood the assignment I think I'll get a lot of wear out of these trousers as well so I'm definitely keeping them do I like this body I like it but yeah I need to go so let's go okay well I really hope you like the little Zara haul um I've got the outfit on I'm just sorry I'm sorting my hair um yeah, and I'm just about to drive over to Newcastle now. Basically, we're going to a place called Victor's for food. I've got my sunglasses in case we sit outside because it was so hot. It's like saying it's 16 degrees outside. So for England, it's amazing. But yeah, nice Sunday. It's nice to get ready in the middle of the day. I always go on about it, but I actually love getting ready like midday. Yeah, so let's go and I'm excited for tea. Yeah, let's go. Is this actually a vlog? This is a vlog. And this is a vlog. Welcome back, vlog. We're now longer on a boat. So we're here for Nikki's baby shower. She's looking very cute. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm having a um, the vlog is actually getting the nice angles and the nice light, but the camera says no. But yeah, we're just sitting, chilling, having a little drink. I think I might have one drink, I'm not sure I haven't decided, but yeah, it's very nice. Three course lady. Why can I go? morning everyone welcome back to my weekly vlog i'm just out at the moment i've came to have some breakfast and a coffee with jake we're driving separate because i'm going to the dentist after this um so we're literally just gonna have a quick coffee some toast at costa and then i'm going to the dentist i'm getting like these sort of white fillings put on my teeth because i've got these marks on my teeth and obviously for the wedding i just don't want anybody to be able to see that um, and I don't want that in general, it's awful. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, but I'm gonna get them done. So I'll obviously take you along for my day. It started to get out really sunny again today. I didn't really know what to wear. I've not got the right clothes for this sort of weather. Just got like a body and jeans on, but you know when you just don't feel nice. And I didn't do my makeup because I thought when people are like in your mouth, like the dentist like in your mouth, it's gonna be a bit weird. So I thought I'll go home after and do my makeup. Um, but yeah, I need to be quick because we haven't got loads of time, but yeah. Let's go and 
have breakfast. I am dying for a coffee. Cheers. <laughs> put my makeup on I'm just quickly cleansing well going over with my cellar water just to make sure there's no horrible bits I'm so glad I didn't put makeup on for the dentist because I did get splashed like my face and stuff and it would have felt horrible getting like your mouth done <laughs> and then a full face I'm just putting my serum on I'm also so happy with my teeth. You probably can't tell and you probably never knew what the problem was before, but basically I had like decay. It wasn't decay because he didn't, he said it wasn't decay, just like erosion, that's the word. On like my top teeth here and here, and also had it on the bottom. Um, he said it could be off like over brushing or like fizzy drinks. Um, so I booked in to get this done obviously with getting married. I just wanted to have like the perfect like smile um, I know I've got quite cr like the bottom teeth of mine the bottom teeth my bottom teeth are quite crooked now um, but I kind of think teeth make you look like You so I don't hate it um, And maybe in a few years would get like a brace or an Invisalign if it gets worse but I don't hate that the fact that I've got like a crooked bottom I don't know I just think it makes you like look like you um and my top ones are pretty straight so when I smile I'm happy with my teeth um but I just wanted that done because it was I was quite conscious of it once I'd noticed it um and then I couldn't kind of unnotice it so yeah I'm really really happy with the results you can just smile like this now not that I ever would because when I smile you couldn't even really see where it was but I just feel like a lot more confident that I've had it done so yeah fabulous and it took like an hour my teeth are quite sensitive so when the cold water was when they're like polishing and the cold water was there I was like oh I did jump a bit but like it didn't hurt and I didn't need like an injection or anything so that was good um now I'm just putting my makeup on ready to go out me and my mum are heading out so let's get the makeup on. I feel like I'm not loving my makeup at the minute. I'm going through a phase where I'm just not feeling nice. I'll probably just show you my makeup when I'm done. So I've just done like really supernatural makeup for today because I just wanted to have like a casual vibe day. Um, I also got some thank you cards in the post. I got them made on Vista print, let me show you. Yeah, so these are them. I just got like a picture, they're like paper. And on the bottom it says, thank you for the hen party of my dreams. But I did, I got them made on Vistaprint, like I just said, but they took like two weeks to come. So to be honest, would I recommend them? I don't know, not really. The quality is good and I like them, but I'm a bit like two weeks. I think it was actually longer than two weeks. It was like two and a bit weeks. Um, but I need to write everybody's out and send them. I'm gonna post the ones I can post um, like through the letterbox as a surprise and then 
Um, I'm going to give my mum hers now though, so I'm going to quickly write hers out because she's coming to get us. And then I'll write the others out later. But yeah, let's write my mum's quickly. But they are so cute. So on my mum's, I wrote, Mum, thank you for coming to my amazing hen party and making it so special. I am so, so happy you came. It wouldn't have been the same without you. It was honestly the most surreal, amazing trip. Memories forever. Roll on, Florence. Love you millions. Love, page S, and then in brackets, B to B. Because yes, I'm double barreling the surname. Did you know? I feel like, I don't know whether I've said that, but yeah, I am. I hate licking envelopes, but it's got to be done. And on the front, I've put two mob, which is mother of the bride. Also, my hair is so dirty and it's making me feel like I look actually awful. It needs a wash. I'm going to wash it tonight. Um, and I'm going to write the rest of those out when I get back. So, yeah. So, I'm out with my mother. We've got a new name for her. It's called... Dramandy. I am your mother, you listen to me. <laughs> because she's so dramatic in everything she says, like I can't oh, explain. Honestly. She dr is dramatic about every single inch of life. Well Paige, that's why you're the way you I'm are. not dramatic like you. <laughs> so we're going looking for sofas with my mum for our living room. Because Obviously we went in last week's vlog for the same thing. Um, It's like <laughs> 18 degrees we should be out having a walk but no we're looking for sofas we can have a walk when we get back <laughs> um so yeah we're going to sofology first um the problem is my mum and dad don't agree on anything shouldn't he just let me have what i want ask the vlog <laughs> you should have went like out around there uh-huh okay. but like oh yeah um no he shouldn't let you got to agree it's a collab, you and Dad. No, it's bloody not. He never lets us have what I want. Oh, there we go again, Dramandy. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to Sophology. First things first. Lunch choices. I don't know what they get. So today's lunch of the day is bang bang chicken and rice noodles. And then I got some cucumber sticks with cream cheese no sour cream and chai dip to try these are actually new so yeah i'm gonna eat the bead bang bang into the room mm. well good snack yeah yeah mm, mm, mm. when i had this last week i thought i better don't eat it all i ate every scrap i think you're still hungry like that's just lunch isn't it? Mum's mm -hmm. having a chicken katsu hokey bowl. Delicious. I really could have ate a McDonald's today, you know. It's awful when you feel like that. I know. Um, but I'm glad I'm not. This must have peanuts in the sauce. Ooh, yeah. Where's your peanuts? Where's your nuts? Mm -hmm. Divine. And I'm happy it's got edamame in because I just love the edamame. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That little green um, soup's going to come today. From H&M. Mm -hmm. Excited. I wanted it for yesterday. <laughs> you send it back? No. I'll have to show you what I got from Zara the other day. Actually, I can show you on the vlog. So I'm on the move again. I'm going to meet my friend Emmy. We're going for a walk. Um, we're actually going to the quayside, which is just like a nice walk and it'll be gorgeous if it's sunny. The car, I've just got in, my car, stinks of like, <laughs> like party sausages. I, you know like when you used to go to parties when you were kids and like the little sausages? Oh, it stinks of that and I don't know why. Um, and also it's just something out on dimension. So Beyonce is playing at Sunderland tonight, which is very close to where I live. And 
I'm actually so jealous of everyone going to see it because everyone is putting on their Instagram stories like Beyonce Day and stuff and I'm really jealous. And yesterday when I was at work, I actually served one of our dancers from the tour. Like I just got talking to her and she's like, oh, I'm in a show and I need like a lipstick. And then I was like, what show are you in when I got her to the till? And she like laughed and then I was like, is it what I think? And she was like, yeah. She's, and she asked me if I was coming. She was American. She was so nice. Um, but yeah, I'm really jealous and I wish I was going. So if any one of you that are watching this and you went, because it'll be past when, you, like past time when you're um, watching this vlog, I hope you have the best time or have had the best time watching it because I feel like it's going to be amazing. I've seen loads of stuff about it on TikTok and it just looks like the most amazing show. So I'm kind of got the formal for that. But anyway, me and Emmy are going for a walk, which will be lovely. We might pick up a Starbucks on the way, like round the walk. We'll see. But yeah, let's go walk and... And I hope it's hot. I'm gonna put a podcast on as well on the way. Sophia and Chinsy are the girls' bathroom. Is the podcast you. trans. Cheers! Cheers! Hi! Hey. Oh my god, we're back here again. This is a very bad habit to get. This is a bad addiction. But then they've just arrived. Morning everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. I haven't actually got many plans today, like in the day, but um, we've just kind of got up and me and Jake are heading to get a barbecue. Um, we've never had like a proper barbecue, we just normally use the little disposable ones and we don't ever have much luck with them. So we were like talking about getting a proper one, which is what we're going to go and do. Um, I think we're going to grab a coffee at Tim Hortons and then I'm just going to try and enjoy the sun. Um, because it's really warm today, it's already 22 degrees. Do you think that's right? Oh, there it's dropped down in 21. So it's in 21 degrees, but I just want to enjoy the sun, have more of a relaxing day, and like sit in the garden and just like pot around the house, really. Um, there was something I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I'm going out for tea with my friends tonight. We we'll always like get together once a week, and we're actually going out tonight to an Italian, which I used to go to years ago like when I was little but I don't ever remember it and the girls like a few of the girls have been like going as well for years and they say it's amazing still so we're heading there I'll take you along for that but first things first let's go get a barbecue maybe we could have barbecue lunch I don't know let's see what happens but no plans really in the day which actually is so unlike me but actually feels really nice just to have a day to like do almost nothing although we are doing something if that makes sense but yeah let's get on with it we've got the barbecue goods so we've got a barbecue and some like what they're called oh yeah accessories to go with it um success we're not allowed a barbecue a day though jake says but we've got it for when we're gonna have one we're now going to tim hortons to grab a coffee and I'm very ready for it because I've not had one this morning. It's already 20 past 11 and the sun is out. So today is, today is great. Hi, you right? I got an, an iced French vanilla latte and I ordered two donuts to try. I'm actually meant to be on a diet. It's on the wedding diet. Whoa, that is sugary. I think I need to stir it a little bit. Mm. So I got these donuts at Tim Hortons, this brownie kind. Looks quite dark on the vlog. Looks good. And then I got a maple one as well. Delish. So I'm gonna make bruschetta attempt bruschetta for lunch because I watched this girl's vlog Sasha Atwood like a month ago and she made it and it looked so nice so I'm going to attempt to make some for lunch so fingers crossed
So I am actually improvising a little bit with this because I don't have olive oil and I don't have garlic cloves so I'm doing granules so I don't need much of that. Obviously I don't want to be stinking of onion and garlic but I know you're probably watching this thinking why didn't you just order it tonight when you go to the restaurant. <laughs> But I think I've had it in my head that I wanted to make it, so hence why I'm making it. Some fresh basil. Delicious. And I think you've got to, oh, got to mix the balsamic in. Oh no, oh yeah. Salt and pepper. Who knows what it's going to taste like? Not me. If it's minging, then it's minging, but I don't think it will be. Ooh. So you have to leave this for half an hour to kind of like marinate. Leave this in the fridge for half hour. Maybe it's a bit more. I don't really know how much of this you meant to put in. What? I don't know what this is gonna be like, but looks a bit weird, don't you? Oh good. Alright, let's leave that in the fridgey. So I've just, I look crazy, I've just got the bread in the air fryer, ready for my lunch. I'm actually starving, ready for this. Please excuse my awful hair. I will look better tonight to go out with the girls. Yeah, let's see what this brochette is all about. Okay, I've got the bread. I've got quite a lot of bread, which I don't think I'm going to need. Let's try it out. I also don't know whether I've done enough tomatoes. I think it's quite oniony. But it's the first attempt, so no judgment, please. Yeah, there's a spare bit of bread. I thought that was going to happen. I'm going to go and sit in the garden, eat my bruschetta, a bruschetta, whatever you say. Quite an easy lunch, actually. Right, I'm gonna leave that bit of bread. I don't think I need that. Actually, doesn't look that bad. Let me show you. Hmm. I don't know why I just bit in at that. Weird. Very weird. It actually doesn't look bad. I think the olive oil would have been a help, and I think a little bit more tomato. But yeah, I'm actually excited to eat this. This feels so summery. Let's do a taste test. I'm actually a bit scared. Mm. Mm. A little bit vinegary, but nice. Please excuse that the bed isn't done behind, it looks a bit messy. Um, but this is my little outfit for tea, so I've just got my jeans on because the sun's gone in. Little pink bodysuit with a pink shirt just like folded. Probably I'll end up taking the shirt off anyway, but I don't know, looks alright doesn't it? I hope. So I'm just heading out now with the girls and I've actually had the nicest day. Um, I did probably put 
I did put a little clip in that I was doing some gardening, which honestly is not really me. I'm not going to lie. I've never really done any gardening before, but I just, the garden was a mess and we needed to like take the weeds out. So I thought instead of just sitting in the sun, which is what I was going to do, I thought I may as well be practical. So I did like one half, the other half is still to do. Jake was like building the barbecue, so we've both been in the garden all day. Honestly, I've just had the nicest day. Obviously, we went and got the barbecue this morning. and it, It's like silly things, like that was like spending quality time and then we got, got like a coffee together. It was just so nice. Um, so I've had a really nice day, just like around the house. Sometimes I think you just need them days, but I'm always on my days off trying to like cram everything in and do loads. I think I just need to start and relax a bit more and not have to have a set plan. Um, so it has been so nice. Um, and obviously now going out with the girls for tea. I don't really know what I fancy. Obviously I had my bruschetta um, lunch, which, or bruschetta, I, th I call it bruschetta, but it's, I think it's bruschetta. Um, so that was lovely that I, and I don't feel starving but once I get there and probably see all the food I'll be hungry um, but yeah I've got the girls thank you cards that are coming tonight so I'm going to give them those I'm just going to have a nice night with the girls I always love nights when we like catch up and um, normally we just go around one of each other's house but sorry houses but tonight we said that we'd go out so heading out and I still don't want to complain and be negative or anything because I've had such a nice day. But I just feel like I've got no nice clothes for like evenings like this when you're just going for food. Um, I've got like jeans on and a shirt and a body. I wouldn't really want to wear the shirt but I think I need it really because it's not like sunny anymore. I'll probably end up taking the shirt off when I'm sat in the restaurant but... Yeah, it's still warm outside, don't get me wrong, but the sun has totally gone in, as you can probably tell. But it has actually been lush today. I've had, um, sorry, that'll be moving. I've had like factor 30 on and then factor 50 on my face because I feel like I'm all of a sudden very conscious of like freckles that start to appear. And I'm like, I don't want to age, so especially for the wedding. Um, and I somehow managed to tame my crazy hair. I've put lots of oil on and straightened it but it's still quite frizzy because I just washed and dried it last night and let it dry, sorry, washed it and then let it dry in like overnight. So it was like big this morning, like huge. In fact, let me insert a picture of what it looked like this morning. Um, frizzy, but anyway, let's go and have some food with the girls. I'm so excited to see them. And my fingers are aching off my gardening. Hey, <clears throat> not just a vlogger, I can now say I'm a gardener. Honestly, <laughs> let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. Tonight is Friday and surprise, surprise, I feel like all I've done in this vlog is head out for food, but I'm going out for more food with my friend Lucy and her sister Caitlin, who's also my friend, but they're sisters. Um, I can't wait. Um, we're going to a place in Durham called Spags. It's called like Les Bag of Tartar or something. I haven't been there in so long. I've actually been at work all day today and it's been like, um, we've done like this external event so I feel really tired um, and like my body's aching. I think I forgot to talk about it but obviously you've seen in the last few clips I was gardening on my days off and honestly my body when I woke up the next day it was aching because obviously I was using muscles that I'd never like used so I'm still kind of aching off that and then I've been on my feet all day so I feel a little bit tired but I'm sure nothing it's nothing um carbs can't solve so I will take you along obviously I do feel like all I have done this week is eat um so oh you get petrol as well so yeah there's not really i have it's been quite a long vlog though but i have done a lot of foodie things so yes let's go out for tea i need petrol and there's actually not a petrol station so what am i gonna do actually there is a petrol station but maybe i can go on the way back will i get there in 15 miles i'm gonna try um i've ate like a pick and mix at work today because we went to this place and there was like pick and mix my god it was so good so i don't actually feel that hungry but i'm gonna eat everything probably um i've just got like a little top on with some cream trousers and some flat sandals it's a lovely night it's like 17 degrees i'm actually not parked on the drive as well because jake parked his car in the middle of the drive to clean his car and then forgot about me coming back from work and didn't move it so i've been booted off the drive um but yeah i've had a nice week so far i've loved this vlog because it's been like 
I was looking at it, watching it back just before and I feel like it has really done a snapshot of my week. So yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying so far. And it probably will end up after tonight because I'm not doing much tomorrow night after work. But let's go along, let's have some carbs and let's go. All I do is eat. Quite a lot of chocolate. <laughs> These girls are on a summer diet. So I'm just back in the car. Oh my god, that pasta. So I got the penne a la vodka. It was insane. I've been really wanting to try vodka pasta for so long. It was so good. I didn't actually get chicken. You could have added it, but I didn't really fancy chicken. So that was so good. I would actually really recommend that restaurant. It was so nice. Haven't been in years, but there was like really loud tables around us and we were like trying to have a catch up and everyone was like out for a Friday night, like boozy meal. And I was just a bit like, can you turn the volume down? Obviously we never said that, but it was like really hard to chat, but we had the nicest food. Um, but I am actually gonna leave this vlog here for this week. So I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And of course I will see you in my next video.